YouTube welcome back to my channel my name's Steve and that's Howie we're out today in the new forest just going to catch the last of winter and the beginning of spring really so I've decided to come out today and I couldn't have picked a better day it's um 21 degrees centigrade at the end of March which is really unheard of as you can see I'm wearing a t-shirt so it is really warm out here I'm gonna have a scout around uh, the sunlight is quite harsh at the moment obviously because it's uh, mid-afternoon that's why I've come into the woodland see if I can get some images in here first um, then I'm gonna take another walk possibly to another woodland and uh, scout that place out but obviously as this video goes on and the evening goes on the light will just get softer and softer and I should be able to get some really good images so I'll be uh, having a wander around now and uh, see what I can come up with see you in a minute well I've come across my first image of the day we've got this tree in front of us you might have seen this picture before I have shot it in one of my older videos uh, from the new forest but I decided to come here first it's um, quite sheltered from the sun so we've got this tree in front of us it's uh, got a nice clearing around the outside and we've got the roots on the left and the right they come out and they splay out uh, which makes really good anchor point for the image and then we've got a lovely curve going around the top of this tree it's absolutely fantastic as you can see almost bends to like a 90 degree so the best angle though to take this is from this angle here and luckily we've got the sun in the background as well and by putting my camera on f16 we can create a lovely sun star for this picture so that would be able to pop just either to the left or to the right of the tree trunk i think possibly to the left if i come down far enough we can get it just inside the curve of the tree as well so let me just pop this back on the tripod and i'll uh, walk you through the image all right let me just talk you through the settings we've got um, 1.3 of a second f16 iso 100 i'm keeping it on f16 just so we can get that sun star in i think the sun's gone in at the moment but as soon as it comes back out again i'll shoot the shot we have a focus right in the center of the tree trunk itself get that nice and sharp and uh, i'm shooting on my tamron 10 to 24 wide lens it gives me a good opportunity to use this lens i very rarely use the lens unless unless it's for a big landscape picture and i very rarely use it in the woodland but in this particular instance we can get the roots in at the bottom and also we can get the sun in at the top and we can get this lovely curve going on as well in this tree trunk so i'll uh, shoot a couple of these and i'll pop it up for you Right, now I've got my first image in the bag. I thought I'd come down to my next part of the woodland, about a mile away from my last image. And I've just come across this fallen tree, as you can see. We've got about an hour and a half before the sun goes down. So I thought I'd uh, just see if I can just take some fun pictures of this fallen tree, really, handheld. Um, nothing great, but I do want to possibly, with my 10 mil wide open, um, I could probably get some good little images. We've got some uh, great little detail here. We've got these little ferns that are growing. Uh, we've got all the moss as well on on this trunk and obviously if you can just get it just right you can make a great little sun star uh, just to brighten the image up a bit really so I'm just going to walk around this tree see if I can get some handheld shots um, and I'll pop them up now for you
right, I really must stop walking this way. I'm going nowhere near where I want to be for my last shot of the day. And I've got about an hour left before the sun goes down. But I have come across this beautiful little um, woodland just with all pines in it and that. So we've got the sun going down over there. We've still got about an hour left to go. And I thought this looks quite a nice, nice image. If I can just get some of the tree trunks in the foreground and the bright sun coming through from behind. It's started to go quite hazy now because the sun's come down quite low. I'm just having a look around and seeing if I can find a composition that will suit um, some detail in some of the trunks in the foreground and then the hazy sun in the background. But well, I finally found the composition I want in this, uh, this little woodland here. Let me show you. So we've got the soft light right in the center now and either side we've got a tree to frame it basically um, what I will do with this one is probably focus stack it so I'm just going to go over to that tree on the right there zoom in a bit make sure that is dead sharp there we go zoom back out again and take that image and then what I'm going to do is focus just on the base down there we zoom in again and try and get that as sharp as possible there we go come back out again and take that image so I can pop this into affinity photo I can then get the foreground nice and sharp with these these tree trunks are and also the base just at the bottom where the sun's shining through I can get that nice and sharp as well so you've got a nice sharp image all the way through right let's have a look see what that looks like Right, so that last image that I wanted to take of the pond that you can see behind me, it's called Green Pond. I was hoping that I could get a little bit more colour out of the sky, but unfortunately there's a large bank of cloud all the way along the back there, so the sky hasn't really popped tonight. You have got some soft colours going on, so I have managed to take a couple of images of this. And as you can see, the wind has dropped right down, so we've got lovely reflections uh, in the pond as well. We've got a few different compositions we can take of this. We've got the two trees left and right just there. They make for good images. But again, that would probably be best with that tree there on its own, because uh, odd numbers are a lot better than even numbers. And then we've got this section here, which is just a group of trees in the middle there. They're all um, silver birch trees, and they make for really good images as well. So I've uh, taken a few images now before the sun went down um, and then I thought I'd talk about it afterwards. I'm going to pack up now and I think I'll call it a day. Um, please don't hesitate to uh, smash the like button and subscribe. It would be really great if you could support my channel um, and all my photography that I do. And um, until next time, see ya.